Welcome to my presentation on a study of the different perceptions of the roles and traits of native English speaking teachers, uh, nests in South Korea at the university level. The research that I did was about the varying perceptions of the roles and traits that an effective native English speaking teacher, NEST, should possess when teaching compulsory English language courses to undergraduates at universities in the Republic of Korea. This presentation will discuss the various perceptions that are held by important stakeholders in such a context, namely the nests themselves, their Korean counterparts, and the students that both teach. I will argue that there needs to be better communication between these three groups, as different perceptions across these stakeholders means that nests are not often well integrated into the workplace and are therefore employed ineffectually. All teachers should be aware of the various concepts present in terms of how they should be operating pedagogically. If students and teachers have wildly different ideas of what they should receive from the classroom, then it will lead to unresponsive and, co and uncooperative classes. Therefore, it is in the nest's best interest to understand the different perceptions concerning them and how they should be teaching in the university classroom. I will provide diverse views from a variety of university teachers and students and use these to provide suggestions. These views will allow nests to understand their students better and to foster better communication amongst themselves, between their local counterparts and within their classrooms. Understanding the perception of nests' roles held by various stakeholders can make for a far more conducive work environment for all and one which will ultimately benefit students greatly. My research on this topic was completed in 2016. Still, I believe that the ideas uncovered hold steady today, as further communication in the Korean university workplace could make for a more productive work environment, which would ultimately benefit all stakeholders involved. Today, I'll present the findings and recommendations of what can and should be done to allow for the more efficient use of native English speaking teachers in the Korean university context. In Korea, there are various attitudes and opinions held over the proper roles and traits of a university nest, including those perceptions held by the nests themselves, the students involved and their local counterparts. I have found that the more these perceptions differ, along with a lack of communication between the different parties involved, means that nests are often not well integrated into their work environment and therefore are used ineffectually, or not as effective as their full potential may allow. It is in everyone's best interest to know the different perceptions held and what educators can do with this information. I'll make some practical suggestions for the classroom and discuss how we can better communicate with our students and fellow educators. In the end, this will lead to having more effectual nests. Each group involved, nests, students, and non-native English speaking teachers, have a good idea of what makes for an effective nest. Experienced nests in Korea often have a clear interpretation of what they can bring to the classroom. But students too also have in their mind what makes a good nest, as they have been involved in English education from an early age. Non-native English speaking teachers also have a clear interpretation of their role as they have been heavily involved in the process as well. However, if all these preconceptions are widely different, it can lead to unproductive work relationships, and nests may find themselves faced with unresponsive and uncooperative classes without knowing the reasons why. Student views were often overlooked in the past, and I hope to address this in my research. I was quite pleased to find that some aspects did overlap. Still, at the same time, with a lot of varying opinions on how to teach effectively, many nests found it hard to navigate a method that would please everyone effectively. 
A specific example to illustrate this is the use of the native language L1 in the classroom, where the often preferred method when teaching using commutative language teaching approach is an English-only classroom context. Yet this can sometimes conflict with a comfortable learning environment. So I think it is wise that a nest does not stray too far away from what students and non-native English speaking teachers expect of their role. But at the same time, they must make their teaching ideas and strategies clear to both of the other parties. When asking about the roles and traits of an effective nest, I used three surveys, one for each group of participants, nests, non-native English speaking teachers and students. I also conducted one-on-one -on -one interviews with six participants, two from each group of the previous groups mentioned, which allowed me to get a much more concise picture of the university work environment. In these cases, a qualitative approach was taken to try and interpret the multitude of opinions that were given. From the surveys, however, simple weighted scoring allowed me to calculate the results into digestible tables to identify the top three traits across st stakeholders. Here is an example of the list of the traits of a nest should hold given in the surveys to the different groups who then marked them for how important they were considered and then I ranked them in, all, in that order. Here, table one shows the highest ranked traits that a nest should hold according to all stakeholders. Essential characteristic of an effective nest, according to students, include should speak clearly and with confidence, followed by should be passionate about English, and then should make students speak English. Non-native English speaking teachers hold views of their counterparts that indicate that they should be passionate about English first and foremost, followed by should be well organized, and then should be patient. Finally, the nests view their most important traits as should be patient, followed by should speak clearly and with confidence, and then should be well organized. Here in figure one, we can see the ratings of the categories according to each of the groups. The survey traits could be divided into categories. Presentability, PRES, Personality, PERS, Responsibility and Role, R&R, &R, Language Expertise, LE, Qualifications, Q, Cultural Knowledge, CK, and Experience, E. Non-native English speaking teachers and nests tended to value all of these categories more than the students. A reason for this is that being fellow educators, they may just see the importance in all these categories and the non-native English speaking teachers will therefore expect more from their counterparts than the students. The rationale for the students' lower ratings across all these categories is perhaps due to the possessing views that are not entirely set in regards to what they may consider as effective. Analysis of the results. Although similarities between the different groups exist, some fundamental disagreements arose, and these all stem from a lack of understanding of each other's roles. One of the first issues was the degree of closeness that the teacher-student relationship should hold. All the Korean interview participants, students and non-native English speaking teachers mentioned in some form or another that a close nest student relationship was positive and would encourage student participation. One student in the interview expressly wanted a teacher to be like a friend and the student data from the surveys supported this view. However, this contradicts what one nest said in the interview with all NEST survey results also downplaying the importance of being like a friend to students. The issue could be seen as an extension of the standard teacher-student dynamic, with students generally wanting teachers to be more friendly, 
but also wanting a chance to be able to converse comfortably in an all English speaking learning environment. A strict nest may not help an already overworked student. On the other hand, it is possible that both students and non-native English speaking teachers underestimate the struggle that nests sometimes have to undergo to maintain respect in the classroom. In the interviews, students clearly expect an English language class to be fun, whereas the nests feel that the style of fun being demanded sees them need to act like a clown. Then they then feel degraded as a professional educator. Another point emerging from interviews was the desire for there to be a better calibre caliber of nest employed in Korea. All interviewees unanimously agreed that the standard of educators at the university level needs to be raised to produce a better quality of English language education. In terms of this, both nests and non-native English speaking teachers ranked qualifications highly. Supporting teachers with professional development may help to solve this issue, and it might, in turn, see an increase in respect awarded to nests. There was a definite feeling from nests that they were at the bottom of the totem pole in the academic workplace, and enabling and giving nests a chance to develop professionally could help alleviate this while contributing to a better learning environment for students. The organisation of English education at universities was also brought up in the interviews. This aspect is harder to address as it is not easily solved by nests themselves. However, both nest and non-native English speaking teachers talked about wanting better communication between, as at times there was a total lack of communication. And this is the case when there is no unifying department. Furthermore, setting compulsory English classes as part of a general curriculum was viewed by these two stakeholders as another reason for the disorganisation that exists between them, and also responsible for there being little autonomy given to teachers when conducting their class. All participants in the surveys viewed a more flexible curriculum as one that would assist teachers in gaining more autonomy. It was clear that nearly all interview participants wished that nests could cover material outside of the set textbook. Both students and non-native English speaking teachers ranked language expertise as the most important category for nests, specifically knowledge of the English language. Nests did rank it highly as well, but it was below presentability of the language how English is conveyed to the students. Furthermore, both Korean groups ranked global and local cultural knowledge as high, with NEST not as highly recognising this as important. Despite there being differences in what the groups wanted from NESTs, there were many similarities. In particular, being well organised, being patient, and having a clear and accurate pronunciation. Being passionate and encouraging students to speak were also highly important traits ranked. However, there are notable differences in opinion as well. And working from these similarities and differences, I now hope to make a few practical suggestions for the NEST classroom, centering around better communication, cultural knowledge, and the issue of embarrassment. Practical suggestions for the classroom better communication between all parties. A lack of communication seems to be one of the most significant factors that leads to misunderstandings between students, non-native English speaking teachers and nests. While recognising that nests can sometimes feel isolated, there does need to be more of an effort on their behalf to try and integrate into the university and to make attempts at developing good night dynamics with their local cohorts. Understanding the culture certainly helps, even if one just shows that they are making an effort. Explaining one's intentions, even in English, can also help. And this can provide a clear understanding 
of the situation that these kinds of teachers are in, and it may also increase learner empathy. Openness and honesty here are fundamental. Honesty with the students can help broach the complicated teacher-friend relationship issue, and being open, open about it can assist students in understanding the nest position. My research also illustrated that all stakeholders wished for a higher level of communication between each other. In terms of this, I would like to note that as a nest myself, it was hard to gain access to the non-native English speaking teachers at my workplace of the time. In the surveys and interviews, nests highlighted a lack of communications. Students asked for higher levels of it. And non-native English speaking teachers also wished that nests would make a more significant effort to communicate and integrate. Cultural knowledge. If working in Korea, teaching compulsory English language classes at the university level, I do believe that nests should develop cultural and linguistic knowledge regarding the country and language. Further, cultural knowledge will help nests understand the workings of the university better and may support integration. I think that even to be seen trying to integrate and learn about the culture will make it much more likely that one can successfully integrate better into the system. Nests through communication too can highlight their integration struggles and hopefully develop an understanding of these issues among locals. The issue of embarrassment uh, can be applied to one's general teaching methods. Language anxiety is an issue that affects all language learning classrooms, and it can be linked explicitly to social pressure in the Korean University English language learning classroom. If nests are not aware of this, it can severely hinder student success. Again, through better communication, letting students know that you are aware of their anxieties, and aiming to teach in ways that do not unnecessarily put pressure on them, in front of their peers. In turn, this will help foster a more productive learning environment. Also, creating safe zones and encouraging all questions can help with this. Finally, be aware of the traits that are universally admired in nests in the local context, as specific attributes are desired. These include being organised, being able to be patient, and having a clear and accurate pronunciation. These traits can be applied to the broader working environment. Being organised in and outside the classroom. Being patient with students and with those issues that arise in the workplace that differ from the home country. Being passionate about the subject that you teach and the teaching profession as a whole. Some questions to consider. What do you think can be done to promote better communication at universities between students, nests and non-native English speaking teachers? Do you have any ideas in helping different groups understand each other better? What do you think makes for an effective nest? Please leave your comments in response to these questions or any other questions or comments that you may have. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation today.